Explorers, you won't believe where we are in. I never thought I was even going to come here. I thought Steve was the lucky guy to get here first. Which he was the first one to come here, and I think you were second, right? Second, yeah. Second. So, this is no joke. We are in Bruce Lee's mansion. Like, it just sounds... It's like, like, being a break dancer and being back in the U.S. is like, we all look up to Bruce Lee. And I'm inside his freaking house. So here's the deal. This place has now turned into a love hotel, which is ridiculous. Like, this place should have been reserved as Bruce Lee's, like, mansion as, like, a museum or anything, but then they turn it into a freaking love hotel, which is insane. Like, maybe because I, I, I just am so inspired by Bruce Lee, but I think that's ridiculous. But what happened was, um, so yeah, Bruce Lee's born in the United States, and he kept going back and forth because of his grandpa, who was a businessman. So he, he kept coming to Hong Kong and going back down to the U.S., back and forth, back and forth. What's even crazier is that in 1970s, they have documented clips showing him and his family here in this house that we're in right now. He had a private gym, a garden, the best of the best. He deserves it though, he worked so hard. But sadly on July 20th, 1973, Bruce Lee has died. There was much speculation about the fact that he collapsed in my home and that he was taken to hospital from there. Bruce Lee was a very warm man. He had a great many friends. After all, I was not the only one. Miss Yi Yi and Miss Kan Siu, they were also very close friends of his. He was that kind of man. He attracted many friends. But in 1974, this place went up for sale, and a mainlander who was very rich bought this mansion for one million Hong Kong dollars. 2008, less people have been coming coming, so they weren't making as much money, and then an earthquake happened in mainland China, and so the guy was gonna sell the place to then give the money to the, like, everyone who needed it back in the mainland. But, a lot of residents and the people around here, actually everyone in the world, was pretty much like, no, don't do that keep this place and preserve it as a museum. 2009, Bruce Lee's sister became a judge while working with the government and the guy who owned the place to try to create a museum. And they designed and drew all this stuff out and the daughter picked um, this design that had like this great dragon and all this stuff. And eventually, I guess, we don't really know the, the big details, but the government and the house owner never actually became with a, with a full agreement to actually turn it to a museum. So in the end, it never happened, obviously. 2011, this place is now valued at over a hundred million Hong Kong dollars, and it just sits here. Bruce Lee's house is just sitting here. So explorers, we're here now on a crazy video that I'm just excited to be here. Like to be honest, I don't even care. Trash this whole thing. I don't even have to even film this video at all. I'm just so glad I'm here. But I'm actually sitting down. Oh man, I can't get over it. All right, <laughs> fan going right now. Man, rest in peace to Bruce Lee. Let's let's just check this whole place out now. Also, subscribe to Ill. <laughs> Links in the description below. James, Ill site, get it. You guys know what it is. <laughs> I mean, every love hotel has to come with a nice fancy jacuzzi or hot tub. Whatever you want to call it. Bubble bath. But these are how the standard rooms are looking. When Steve was here and also ill, the power was on, but the power is not on anymore. It seems as if they like cut it off. Yeah. Try one more room in case. No. Nope. Yeah, no power. Yeah, they've cut it Dude, off. Dude, the beds are ridiculously huge though. Like, I know. That's a big bed, yeah. That is a huge bed. That's for sure. I don't think I, what the hell? Dude, that can't even fit in my own room at home. We are just going down the halls of Bruce Lee's house. Like, I, I, I can't stop thinking about it. That's a horrible room. Damn. Yeah, it is. This is what happens when you can't maintain it anymore. I mean, this is this can all be easily fixed up, though, of course. They just gotta fix the roof, all the water leaks. Dude, look at that. Freaking 
Slippers are still there. TV. Like, this place is all about the history explorers. It's not even about the place. There could be nothing in here. I'll, I'll be filming it. Yeah. Look at that. It's a green freaking shower. Last but not least, we're going to check out the outside of their house. Going through the door. They put this tank to make it hard to open the door, but it's all right. Yeah, that's okay. Wow. It's like an outdoor kitchen. Dude, you got two fridges out here. They're there making all... Actually, dude, this is where they're making all their food for the takeout yeah. because there's no kitchen in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, for a fancy hotel by Bruce Lee, that's a love hotel, they should be making Holy stuff shit. inside. Look, there's still garlic. Yep. Whoa. Vampires, man. You know what's crazy? Is look at the freaking razor wire around the whole place. Yeah. You wouldn't even think, like, this was even a hotel. Never even mind Bruce Lee's house. Man, he was rich though. You can just tell. Like for someone to own this, being in Hong Kong, hell yeah. But he's a legend. You know what I'm thinking? This is like something I can just say for the rest of my life to like my kids and everyone. Like, yeah, you know, I went to inside Bruce Lee's house. Like, I went inside Bruce Lee's house. That's so true, actually. I didn't even think about that. Like, I can literally tell everyone, like, I went inside Bruce Lee's house. Yeah, dude. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, that's the way I think about it. When I do all of that, it's like, dude, this is what really happened here. And like, what? This corridor really creeps me out. I don't know why you tell me. Oh. It does freak me out. And there's a little heart there. So it's full of all the documents from when this place was running. Like, this is all... Wrong. There needs to be a shrine here for Bruce. Like, if, if like, even did turn into, like, a, a love hotel, someone should have just put, like, a shrine for Bruce here. I said, empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Like water. Now, you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot honestly expressing yourself now it is very difficult to do i mean it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then feel like pretty cool or and all that or i can f make all kinds of phony things you see what i mean blinded by it or i can show you some really fancy movement but to express oneself honestly not lying to oneself and to express myself honestly, that, my friend, is <laughs> very hard to do. I actually thought this was actually just a painting. It's a window. <laughs> Yo, buddy. You got the almost, I thought it was a heart-shaped bed for a minute. But you already know the deal. People are getting down and dirty out in here. The boom boom. And to top it off, you got the brandy. Damn. It's an old one. Yeah, a really old brandy bottle. I can't believe it's just... Uh, I don't know. I can't get over it, though. I'm going to keep talking about it the whole time. It's going to bother me. Sorry if I'm annoying you, explorers. Well, that's a, what the heck? That's so small. It's not what I want in my love hotel. I'm just, like, praying that one light will turn on. I know. You keep trying. I try my best. I, I never... See, in the U.S., actually, anywhere in my life, I've never seen a bed set up like this. It's like a, cu a cut-up couch. But they got speakers on each side, which is really interesting. It's extremely old-fashioned. Yeah, like in the in the, um, I've been to a few love hotels in um, like Pennsylvania, and we call it like in the Poconos, and like it has like a very similar look, but not a, not quite, but close. Super quick explore, but it's to me one of the most coolest explorers ever because of the whole fact of its history. This towel just kind of shows how long this place is being left on. Dude, that's, day. yeah, that's black mold. Complete. Don't want to be anywhere near that. Mm. If you check out this last room here. The last room. This is the last room. Oh, it seems like perfect. Look. Yeah, this one's the perfect. The last room is in perfect condition. 
Do you know why? I think some people are genuinely too scared to walk down the dark hallway because you have to walk all the way down the hallway just to get to it. True, and yeah, you know how the Asian culture is with like ghosts Spirit and room, stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, even the TV's still on here. And look at this, even the toilet paper's still in a perfect roll. Hey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, even that, that's all set up. Dude, is there water in there? Indeed. Oh, okay. Put out the kettle. Yeah. There's water in the kettle as well. Wow. Oh, look, the cups are still in the Think about that's gonna be like some of the oldest water that's still yeah, inside. If you drink that, that's yeah. like drinking water from the river in Chernobyl. One, uh, dude, one time, I left water inside my basement, I left it open, uh -huh. and I was breakdancing my basement, and, I, and like three days later, I drank the water, and I was sick for a week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so bad. bacteria just dropped yeah, out the water and it was just a, a misty basement. Oh, dude, it, I re totally regret that. Even the toilet trees are still here. Anti-dandruff softening shine. Like some shampoo to ah! <laughs> Check out that toilet. Wait, Josh, shine your. This is just on my phone camera. I always like taking memory. Shine your. Let's take a mirror selfie in Bruce Lee's mansion. Oh, dude, for sure. Try and move it to the angle so you can get it to see your face. I've told people all over the world that Bruce Lee was one of my idols, uh, mainly because of his of his mental stability, because of his fighting spirit, because it was more f it was more mental than just physical. For him it was like what he called emotional content. Explorers, I mean this is just an example of how everything can just happen like so quick. Like Bruce just died and then everything just just crash so fast. Like this is just another example of how life can just crumble quick before, right before your eyes, you know? I mean, think about it, he was living the life. He had everything, unstoppable, and then gone. And that could happen to anybody, literally. I mean, things can just happen. And it's just super sad how, how it is. But I mean, in the end too, like, it's pretty uh, grim and dark to say, but like in the end, like all of our stuff, every, when we die and everything, it's gonna just get sold off, or it's gonna just, everyone's just gonna forget and move on years and years and years later anyway. It just, the life cycle just keeps going. So it's pretty much up to you to just live the best life that you can and just stay positive and just hope for the best. Um, that's what I do. Like, I don't really care too, mo too much about like, like materialistic stuff. I, that's why I travel so much. I just take all my money and I just travel with it. I don't really buy anything except little stuff. Like, for instance, the last thing I bought that was like, Super, super expensive. Okay, actually, no. So, before I bought a Louis Vuitton belt. So, besides that, though, the last thing I actually bought was actually a necklace. 250-year-old, like, necklace that was hand-carved out of a 500-year-old tree in Japan in a village. So, I like to, like, collect and, and buy these little things that, like, I can actually remember and keep. I mean, dude, obviously, I'd love a nice car. But, like, right now, all my money is just t generally going towards that stuff. Like the more meaningful things. I mean, I have like a whole museum in my room pretty much of just things from all around the world that I collected along the way of traveling. And yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, we, we've covered so much in the past three years, like more than people would cover in their whole life. And that's why I'm super grateful. I'm grateful for all you guys because if it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't even be here. Boom.